Hey, welcome to this radio video. And today um, I want to talk about a little phenomenon that's uh, been happening since yesterday, June 22nd. We um, were hit by a series of um, coronal mass ejections or clouds of plasma that come from the sun. And several of them actually were ejected from the sun's surface. And they uh, hit Earth yesterday afternoon. And uh, it triggered a pretty big um, geomagnetic storm. And you can see here, this is the K index. Uh, when you listen to WWV, they give you, you know, space weather stuff. And one of the things that they give you is the K index. The K index, usually you want it, you know, two or less is the best. A zero is fantastic for propagation. Now, here you see these series of red lines, and this shows how high the uh, geomagnetic field actually had uh, storming, and it was a G4 major storm. Uh, the, the force of geomagnetic fields uh, or geomagnetic storms are in uh, a scale from 1 to 5, from G1, minor geomagnetic storm, to G5. So yesterday was G4, plus there was a solar flare yesterday. So if we look back at yesterday, at 1803, strong solar flare detected from the sun. And this basically here is um, the solar flare as it was captured uh, with uh, different satellites around Earth. And so uh, what happened is that the sun had a major flare yesterday. So what it did is really, really mess up shortwave propagation. And actually, yesterday I started listening to the radio around 1815 UT. And there was just no propagation at all. Even the stations uh, like uh, WEWN on 15610 or WWCR on 12160 were totally gone from the, um, the bands. And it was just amazing. And so uh, it was really, really, really incredible. Um, what happened is that generally um, when you have a solar flare, the sunlit side of Earth and North America was pretty, pretty much in the sunlit side yesterday when it happened, uh, will usually experience very, very deep phase in propagation and even have a complete absorption of signals instead of the reflection because the solar flare sends a lot of high energy protons and electrons that actually will change the structure of the ionosphere. So yesterday that's what happened. But we are still yet in pretty much a geomagnetic storming period because the sun um, also because of the flare first yesterday there will be probably a second phase of strong geomagnetic storming activity when that uh, cloud of plasma will hit Earth, but also because the geomagnetic field is going to reverberate. It's like a, maybe like a bell. When you um, hit a bell and you hear these sounds through it, you'll see different frequencies and different variations of sound. And Earth, you know, Earth's geomagnetic field is pretty much like a bell. It rings when there's a solar activity and when there's a lot of activity it rings even more so it's going to fade in fade out a little bit but we're in a week of very very uh, low propagation so if you're tuning the bands and you don't hear nothing well big chance that it's not your radio or antenna it's just that we are in a week of geomagnetic activity that's very very strong and lots of absorption and the shortwave spectrum so uh, that's pretty much the news we have right now and um, actually at 2020 20 UTC today I am tuning the bands and I can see that uh, signals are much weaker than normal even uh, WEWN 15610 is uh, very weak compared to what I'm used to very strong signals uh, 12160 WWCR also very very weak so uh, conditions are not very good. But you know what? It doesn't mean that no there's nothing on the radio. One of the interesting phenomena that happens from this is that the um, signals usually tend to be weaker, but some signals can actually increase. 
And very often when there's a big geomagnetic storm, east-west signals, for example, in North America, signals from Europe, will be weak or even inexistent. But signals from north and south can actually increase. So, for example, you might hear st weak stations from South America much stronger than usual. So it doesn't mean because there's geomagnetic activity that you should not just, you know, tune the dial and have a listen because sometimes there's unusual signals that are actually improved by this type of propagation. So uh, that's the news for June the 23rd on the uh, solar activity that's happening right now. And if we look at the uh, space weather webpage, you'll see that uh, there were auroras all around this uh, one from Cape Cod Bay. Uh, so it uh, gives you an idea that uh, there was lots of activity and the, 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 the sunspot that's created the flare yesterday is this big one here. If you look at this one here we have uh, sunspot 2371 and look how huge this is. So uh, this only one of these spots is much bigger than Earth itself so imagine how big this is. So, um, you know, I think for the next few days we're going to have some difficult propagation, but uh, hopefully with a little chance things are going to get better for this weekend's uh, field day amateur radio event. So hope you enjoyed this little video. 73.